Okay, so we are at lesson 17, still in functions, and this is functions with Harvester, section number one. And it starts off with a video, so you can use the video link in code.org to watch that. Let us get started. Ha ha ha. All right, so here we are. Have we met before? I'm the harvester. Help the harvester get to the pumpkin and pick it. Now, in this one, it's um, got the blocks that we're going to have to choose. So the harvester needs to go forward one, two, three, and pick the pumpkin. So I'm going to say, loops. I am going to... Oh, these are new ones. Repeat until there are pumpkins. We can do that. Repeat until there are pumpkins, and I'm going to go forward until I get there. And then I would like to pick the pumpkin. Let's check it out. Okay, that was lesson 17.2. Let's go on to lesson 17.3. So here we've got a function. Ooh, veggies are cropping up everywhere. Now help the harvester pick all the corn on the way to the pumpkin at the end. Note, every square on the way to the pumpkin either has one corn or nothing at all. Please use the provided check for corn function to make sure you get everything. So remember, a function has its name. This is called check for corn. If I go into functions, this is where I would name a new one. It's already named because it's lined up when I change the title here. It changes the title here. So if I want to call that function, I'm going to have to drag that block over. All right, so let's see. Let's check for corn. If there's corn, pick corn. Uh, let's see. Now on the way, every square on the way to the pumpkin either has one corn or nothing. Okay, so I am going to go to my loops, say repeat until there are pumpkins, because that's where I'm ending up. And I am going to move forward, and then I'm going to check to see if there's corn. And at the very end, so I'm going to go forward if there's corn, it's going to pick the corn. And then forward if there's corn, pick the corn. Forward if there's corn, pick the corn. Forward if there's corn, pick the corn. Forward, there's, corn, pick the corn. Forward, there's a pumpkin. <laughs> And then we will need to, actions, pick the pumpkin. So this function, even if it was like not seen, what's going to happen when it click when it runs through check for corn, it's going to do all of that. So let's run and see what happens. Awesome. Lesson 17, number four, we've got this check for corn function again. So why don't you take a pause? Give it a shot yourself and see what you come up with and then check back with me in a minute. Really, go in code.org, lesson 17. You should have followed along with part three. Now try number four. Did it work for you? If not, here's what I'm going to do. All right, so I am going to follow what I did before and I'm going to say loops. Repeat until there are pumpkins, just like I did before. And I am going to have to move forward. And let's see what this says, the directions. Use the function to help the harvest pick corn and pumpkins. Each sprout will either grow one corn or nothing at all. So I'm going to check for corn under functions. So I'm going to move forward and check for corn in every block until there's a pumpkin. And then once there's a pumpkin, I need to pick a pumpkin. So I will go all the way to here. Then I will need to turn left, turn left, and put that down here. And then I need to go forward twice. And let's see here, loops, while path ahead. I'm just gonna say go forward. Actions go forward while there's a path ahead, which is here. It should get me there. And then I will have to turn left again. Oops. All right, so I've got move forward till there's pumpkins and check in for corn all along the way. Pick the pumpkin, turn left, go forward if there's a path ahead, turn left. And now I should be able to do this whole thing again. So you know what I'm going to do? 
this is probably not what they're asking you to do. I'm going to make a new function that says go to pumpkin. You can call it whatever you want. So this is going to be called go to pumpkin. And I'm going to put this whole thing in there. All right, so I'm going to go to functions and I'm going to say go to pumpkin. And then I have to turn left and I have to go forward while there's a path and I have to turn left. And then I'm going to go to pumpkin again. I'm guessing you probably didn't do it this way. This is a function within a function. This is probably uh, more complicated than you might have made it. But we, we, I talked through how I made this. So I'm going forward and checking for corn all the way. And then at the end, I have to pick a pumpkin. But I have to do that same exact thing over here again. And I didn't want to type it. So I wrote it once and I just called it a name of a function. So let's see what happens when I run it. It might not even work. Sweet. I wonder how you did it and if it worked for you. If not, let me click replay here. If you didn't do it the way that I did, what you could possibly have done instead is not used an additional function like I did. So I'm just going to take these out and I'm going to put this over here. Oh wait, I'm going to copy that. So I click on control C, control V, takes the whole thing out. So I said repeat till there's pumpkins, move forward, check for corn, pick the pumpkin, turn left, move forward while there's a path, turn left, and then repeat. So I didn't have this name of the function, I just actually wrote it. So I'm just going to click run again. Oops, I didn't add a pick pumpkin at the end. See, that's why you always have to check it. It didn't copy that part. So I had put this in the pick pumpkin before. I mean, go to the pumpkin before. Um, so you could do that instead if you'd like. So that's my original. All right, I'm going to move on to lesson 17, section number five. I feel so functional. Now there are multiple pumpkins in each patch. Look carefully at the function definitions below to figure out each one, how to use each one. Each sprout will either grow one corn or nothing. Apparently, I went ahead of the game. It says check for corn and get all the pumpkins. While there's pumpkins, pick a pumpkin. Uh, so now we have two functions. So we need to go forward. While there are pumpkins, pick a pumpkin. Okay. Oh, because there might be, there's a question mark, there might be more than one pumpkin. So let's see, loops, we're going to repeat until there are pumpkins like we did before. Actions, we're going to move forward. And we are going to check for corn along the way. And then while there are pumpkins, I'm going to get all the pumpkins and then I will need to turn left. So here, repeat until there are pumpkins. That's going to get me all the way there and I'm moving forward along the way. And when I get to each block, I'm running check for corn. If there's corn, pick corn. So I'm going to get all the way here and then there's a pumpkin. So I have to get that pumpkin. This function says, well, there are pumpkins, pick pumpkin. So if there was one, it'll pick one. If there's two, it'll pick two. If there's five, it'll pick five. So now that I'm here, I have to keep on going. So I'm going to turn left. And then I have to go forward twice. And I'm going to say, while there's a path ahead, just go forward. So just keep on going forward until there's a path ahead. Because we don't have, in this particular lesson, the repeat code. So it's not saying repeat two times. So while path ahead, move forward. Then I need to turn left again. And then, um, basically, we have to do exactly what we did in the beginning, and that's repeat until there are pumpkins, this whole thing. So, um, for now, I will just 
take this off, control C, control V, so it copies the whole thing, put it back in there. Don't forget my pumpkin like last time. So now I just basically put that back and then I put that at the end. So I've got it going to the pumpkin, checking for corn along the way, getting all the pumpkins that are there, turning left, going forward until it can't go forward anymore, turning left, going forward and checking for corn all along the way until we get to a pumpkin and then getting all of the pumpkins. So let's run it and see what happens. All right, so that's lesson 17, one through five. Feel free to keep on going. Um, and hopefully you found some success and paused and tried it on your own.